Understanding how to configure the WooCommerce shipping options can be overwhelming, but I'll walk you through this step by step so you know how to set up your shipping zones, methods, options, and classes. To correctly set up our shipping options though, we must first understand the core concepts of the available options within WooCommerce. Firstly, we have shipping zones. Shipping zones are geographical locations where a certain set of shipping methods and their rates apply. Once a shipping zone has been created, we can then create shipping methods, which are associated with that specific zone. In its most basic form, WooCommerce allows you to either set a flat rate of shipping or a free shipping method. We'll cover both of these shortly. Finally, we have shipping classes. Shipping classes allow us to create product specific charges. For example, we're going to create an additional shipping charge to be applied to a product if it's classed as a heavy good. This will add the fee to the customer's order, ensuring that they're paying the correct shipping costs. We'll be sure to go over each of these core aspects, but let's first start with the shipping zones. Our store, for example, only allows products to be shipped within the UK, so let's apply those settings to ensure that nobody places an order expecting delivery overseas. In the General tab, first of all, ensure that we have the correct locations selected for our store. Scroll down to the general options and set the shipping location to sell to specific countries only. You will now see a new field where you can select the country that you would like to ship to. In our instance, we're going to set this to the United Kingdom. Notice that there were more options available. You could set this to ship to all countries you sell to, ship to all countries, and you can even disable shipping as well as shipping calculations. Spend some time here ensuring that you have explored all of the available options to make sure the configuration is correct for your store requirements. Once you have finished, let's save and head to the shipping tab. The first thing we're going to do is set a standard shipping charge for all orders. Before we do this, however, let's first set the zone name and region by selecting the Add Shipping Zone button. In the zone name, we'll enter UK and under Zone Region, we'll select United Kingdom. You'll see that there's an option to limit our region to a specific zip or postcode. This feature is useful if you need to further limit your delivery services to a more specific location. Once these options have been set, we're now ready to set our first shipping method. Let's save our changes so far and then select the Add Shipping Method button. And now you'll be presented with a pop-up window which asks you which shipping method you would like to create. WooCommerce provides three default shipping methods. Flat rate lets you charge a fixed flat rate for shipping. Free shipping allows you to offer free shipping when certain conditions are met, like the use of a coupon or when a customer meets a minimum spend amount. Local pickup gives customers the option to bypass the shipping choices and collect their order in person. We're going to choose flat rate, followed by add shipping method. Select the edit link now and a new pop-up will appear. Here we can specify a title, tax rules and a price. We'll call our method standard UK shipping. Set the tax status to taxable. And finally we'll set the cost to £1.99. Once complete, save your changes to return to the shipping zone screen. Now it's time to create our second shipping method. This time we're going to create a set of rules which allow customers to receive free shipping if they spend a certain amount of money within our store. Select Add Shipping Method. This time we'll choose Free Shipping from the drop-down and then select Add Shipping Method. Select the Edit icon located underneath the Free Shipping title and we'll leave the title as Free Shipping. Then under Free Shipping Requires, you'll see there are several available options. A valid free shipping coupon allows your customers to use a coupon during checkout to receive free shipping. We'll cover how to create coupons for your store in a later lesson. A minimum order allows you to state a minimum spend before free shipping is enabled. And then we have an option to set an OR or AND rule allowing you to combine these options. We're going to choose a minimum order amount and then set the value to £20. This means that if the customer's cart totals more than £20, they will see the free shipping option when they check out. 
If you have coupon codes enabled within your store, it's worth noting the final option here which allows you to apply the minimum order rule before a coupon discount is applied. Once all of these sections have been configured, hit save and return to the shipping zone screen. Before we move on to shipping classes, we'll first take a look at the shipping options. This section provides you with some additional options to further configure your store. The first option we see is calculations. Here we can enable or disable the shipping calculator on the cart page. And we can also state whether or not we would like to hide the shipping costs until the customer has entered their address. For our store, we're going to leave both of these options as default. Shipping destination controls which address is used. As standard, it is set to default to customer's billing address, and we'll leave this as it is. You can change this if needed to default to the customer's shipping address, and you can also force shipping to the customer's billing address, meaning that the billing and shipping address must be the same. When finished, remember to save your changes. To finish the shipping configuration for our store, let's now create a shipping class. In our example, our shipping class is applied to heavy items only, meaning that if the shipping class is applied to a product, it will incur an additional cost for the customer. Navigate your way to the Shipping Class tab and select Add Shipping Class. First of all, give your shipping class a name. In our example, we're going to name it Heavy Goods. We can leave the slug blank as this will automatically be created once our shipping class is saved. Finally, we'll add the description and then select the Save Shipping Classes button. Now that the new shipping class has been created, we will assign it to a shipping method and then a product. Let's head back to the Shipping Zones area and select UK, followed by Standard UK Shipping. We're now presented with some additional options because we've added a shipping class. The field allows us to enter a price for our new shipping class. Here, we'll enter £10. We'll leave the next field blank. And the final option allows us to set whether the shipping class is applied per class or per order. We'll leave this as per class. When finished, save your changes. Now that we've configured our shipping class, we are ready to apply it to a product. Head over to your product screen now and find the product that you would like to apply your shipping class to. In our store, we have a bread basket which is heavier than the rest of our other products, so therefore will cost more to be delivered. Select the product and scroll down to the product data section. Here you will see the shipping tab. Select this tab and under shipping class, choose your newly created shipping class. Remember to update your product and now let's test it out. Every time a customer adds this item to their cart, the additional heavy goods fee of £10 will be added to their order. The default WooCommerce shipping options are usually enough to accommodate most basic shipping requirements. However, if you find you need more flexibility and customizations, there is a whole host of third-party add-ons which will allow for a combination of configurations and integrations. Check out the WooCommerce link in the description for more information. In our next lesson, we will learn how to integrate Stripe and PayPal into our store so that customers can make a payment.